Hello, Hello, everybody. Good evening. Hello, Eduardo. Hey, good evening. Good evening. Hi, Jay. How are you? Hello, Vero. Hello. Okay. George. I'm fine, teacher. Hello, teacher. Good, I say. Good, good. Hi, oh. George. Everything's fine? Yes, I'm fine, teacher. Okay, good. No problems. No problem to the health. Healthy? No. Okay. That's good, that's good. That's nice. Okay. Okay. Back to the future. Back to the future. Okay, good. Remember this one, falling in love versus staying in love, right? That was the, the discussion we had in the, in the last class, in the last class last um, uh, Thursday. In case uh, falling in love means yourself, it means allowing yourself to enjoy the other person's company and a stay in love means learning how to continue to be your own person okay even if you're part of a greater uh, uh, if you're part of a greater whole okay good this is one of them we have another opinion here. It says, staying in love is more difficult than falling in love. Because if you are staying in love, you have responsibilities to the person that you love. And if you are falling in love, you don't have responsibilities. You feel free. You feel free because your feelings can change at any time or in any moment. Well, that's true, right? Because there is not a true, complete feeling yet okay just just listen to this one again to remember after what you have read can you tell us which one is more difficult for you falling in love or staying in love share your opinion on our discussion box it's okay right Okay, and here Okay, and this one. It says uh, If you're falling in love, you'll find yourself talking to or telephoning the person for no reason You might pretend that it's a reason but often that it's not you'll find yourself bringing this person into every conversation when i was in mexico a friend begins you interrupt with your boyfriend made a great mexican dinner last week uh, you might suddenly be interested in things to just to avoid when a woman when a woman asked me to tell her all about football i know she's falling in love said a TV sports announcer. Okay, the process, remember that we said that uh, falling in love is when we are in the process at the beginning, right? Now, 
Okay. What do you think about it? What do you think about falling in love? Good, bad, terrible, nice, excellent, great, shouldn't exist. Um, I think that in love is a, a good feeling that you could feel in, in, in life, but um, I think also it's very dangerous because um, people cheating us, I, I, I don't know if, uh, it say like like that, but mm -hmm. uh, always is it always <laughs> always is complicated uh, because uh, our, our couple can find other love uh, and also we can we can feel uh, very bad uh, when she leaves she leaves us or he leaves. <laughs> uh, that is my my opinion. Good, uh, but what about here we know we can, uh, because we are talking about couples, right? Men and yeah. women. Okay, but uh, can we fall in love with something else or some or in different situations? Yes, I, I think uh, falling in love is the is at the beginning of every relationship, right? So uh, the law can can end, and in certain kind of the time. So uh, staying in love is when you uh, are uh, when you feel uh, love for for other person, right? Or a pet, an animal. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, now you can. Right? Yeah, yeah. I think uh, it is. It is. Cool. <laughs> An activity you can feel love uh, for for a person or animal things songs I, I don't know yeah depend I mean depends on uh, yeah. the, the the value that we have a, 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 in relation to some things right because there are some people that their passion or they what they really love is a car. Right, and they can they see a car, and then once they see it, they said, uh, I, "Since I saw that car, I wanted to buy it because I fell in love with that car." Okay, so that means that you know you were like, "Okay, that's the car that I want," and then it's like a like an obsession, right? Like a, an attraction that you have for something too. Um, honestly, I don't know if uh, if it is correct, right? I guess. I suppose it is not because you know we are not supposed to love material things, right? Uh, but uh, I mean, if there is a, a there is freedom in that sense, right? So then uh, you are, we are free to choose what we what we want, right? That is the free will, the, what they call the uh, libre albedrio, right? The free will. Free will. Ah, the free will. That if you want to, uh, if you, I mean, if you don't care about people, but you say, no, I just want material things. I love my house, my car, my clothes, my credit cards, the money I have. I mean, there are some people that, is their opinion, right? Is their, their, is their right? Okay? Yeah. Their right they have. Okay, but what is wrong or what is right? Everybody, you know, has a, maybe a different opinion, right? Everybody, uh, some people might think that you said, I, I love Jesus, I love God, right? And some other people say that I'm, a, I'm atheist, I don't, I don't really care about religion, right? So there are different points of view. Okay, so th this uh, issue about love is very interesting. Okay, any other opinion? For example, if you have, a, I don't know, a cat, a dog, Nowadays, it's very common to see people that they really love their pets. I think if they have a cat, they have a dog, sometimes they invest a lot of money. Okay, a lot of money on, on, on the, the veterinarian, uh, clothes or things, you know, for, the, for their pets. Okay, opinions?
Come on, don't be shy. Any opinion is good, it's just an opinion. Do you, do you think Jessie loves that little girl next to her? <laughs> huh? <laughs> yes, it's my, my, my baby. Okay, that's a different kind of love, right? That's mother. Uh, hello. Okay, that's a uh, mother's love, right? Do you see that's another kind of love? So we're talking about love that we might have for pets. Okay, in this case, a mother's love to a child. Okay, uh, or children in plural. Right? Most real. What? This is the most real love. Exactly, right? Yes, you know, this is, you know, exactly. forever. Exactly, right? Now, mother's love is something that is really mother's love never ends. Uh huh, and we cannot question it, right? It's difficult to question that love, right? Because so you can, we cannot say to our mother, ah, do you love me? <laughs> okay, it sounds, it's like an offense for them, right? So it's, okay, so then I guess that's what Veronica says is for real. Okay, you see there are different ways to express uh, love. Sometimes, you know, we see, when we get a pet, a dog, if you like dogs, uh, probably when you see the dog, ah, yeah, it's nice, very cute. Okay, but as you are feeding the animal, training that animal, uh, living with that an animal every day, so you start getting, you know, the, a little love starts growing, right? Growing little by little, and then there is a moment that you feel it part of your family, right? Because it's your pet, you have taken care of it. This is another way to fall in love, and then when you are, you are, you stay in love, with a pet, right? Okay, there are people that don't have family for different reasons, and they, they what? They have pets, right? They have cats. There are people that have three, four, five, six cats, or maybe dogs, okay? Or other kind of pets, right? Like parakeets, or parrots, okay? All right, I good. I have six dogs. How many? Six dogs. Six dogs. Wow. Yeah. And uh, what? Uh, what? Let's say, what is the breed or what is the? Uh, what kind of dogs? It's a mix. Okay. Good. Uh -huh. okay. They are big dogs or small dogs? Uh, three or wilder. Ooh. Wow. <laughs> no, it's very shy. <laughs> no, but they're they're big, right? They're big. Yeah, very big. And one, um, I don't know, aguacatero. Okay, that is a. Uh, <laughs> I don't know how to uh, say in English. Salvadorian. Yeah, ah, yes, uh, yes, uh, a Salvadorian, a Salvadorian uh, adjective, right? That's yeah. Kind of a strict dog, a strict dog, right? So they, uh, yeah. Okay. What else? And um, um, one Chihuahua and one. Um, I don't know. I don't remember the the kind of dog. Uh, the race of the other one. At the race, uh huh? I don't. I don't remember. You but know that I remember that once uh, somebody told me that the name Aguacatero is because uh, these dogs were uh, there were a lot of dogs in the farms or in the fincas, right? Uh huh. And then uh -huh. in the fincas, they you know when the fruit from the avocados fell. Yeah, but this is what the animals, these pets, these dogs hate. That's but it's real. Uh -huh. It's real. The dog, the dog eats aguacero. Yeah, aguacero. Yes. Uh -huh. Yeah, aguacero. Yeah. Why they it's call real. them aguacateros, right? So then, uh, that's the. But this is, you know, usually street, uh, dogs that sometimes uh, don't have owners, so that they eat anything they find. Okay, so it's very. But they yeah. also, there is a name, I think it's mongrel or something like that, animal pet. You know, they don't have oh, a, spe okay. a specific race. But it sounds, for me, sounds very pejorative. Okay, <laughs> good. Okay. But thank you for sharing, Jonathan. All right, so then this is, you know, what we had about love. If you don't have any other opinion. Sure. Yes. I can say, I can say falling in love when I am speaking uh, other person, or my pets. Yes. And I can say 
uh, staying in love when I am speaking of um, all this materiality. For example, I staying in love my child. No, um, well, uh, the, uh, let's say that falling in love is the process, is the beginning. Okay, when you see, for example, suppose that you see a, okay, a, a person. Okay, the first thing that you see in that person is only an attraction, correct? Probably physical or probably some uh, char characteristics, okay, of that person that attract us. Okay, that is the first one. Then after you talk to that person, then after that you give him your phone number and then you begin to speak a little bit more okay little by little there is a, a there is a connection okay and then there is a moment that you feel well, that feel you need to see that person more frequently okay so that is the process falling in love okay after that is when that person corresponds uh, your feelings and then the two the couple uh, correspond the feelings and then they they there is a connection there is a chemistry when i say when i say um how do you say mi otra mitad for example yeah, i have my my other half uh -huh. when you find ah, okay. the other half okay the other 50 percent right <laughs> okay <laughs> uh -huh. in that moment you say for example that you are staying that you are in love okay you are in love is because you are you are already in that, uh, let's say, in that, uh, in that department, in that area, okay? So then the first is the process, okay? But I, what I was telling you is that some people sometimes they have, uh, I don't know if they are misconceptions or wrong com concepts. When people say, I don't care about anybody in this, in this uh, here, I just care about my car and my house and my job, okay? And probably they don't have family, right? So, but they are more material, right? In that case, I mean, they can also say that, but it's, I mean, I don't know if moral, in a moral sense, is correct. Grammatically, yes. I can say, I love my car. I love my car more than my pet. Okay, I can say that. Grammatically, is correct. Okay, but if I say I love my car more than my son, it sounds mm. very rude, huh? But yes. grammatically is correct. Okay, I can, if it is a true feeling that you feel it in that moment, it's, it's very offensive, but if that's what you think, okay. But it's the opposite, right? Every human, uh, say for example, I love my family, I love my family, more than my house, more than material things, okay? So that's the correct way, more of you, right? That when we, when we speak. Okay, so then you can say, you can talk about things, animals and people, but what is the correct one? Is our feeling, right? Our principles, okay? Then it depends on our principles. All right, any other opinion about love? Okay. Gio, have you ever fallen in love? Be honest. <laughs> don't, be, yeah. don't be shy. <laughs> I always be in love. Ah, okay, good. I always think in love. That's a good <laughs> answer. Okay, uh, Ronnie is a gigolo, right? So then, uh, <laughs> Ronnie, <laughs> Ronnie have, you, have you ever fallen in love? Um, yes. How many? No. Uh -huh. Yes, how many? <laughs> I'm a liar. How many times? <laughs> no. But that's a good question. I, uh, Can we fall in love yeah, more, than, more than once? Lady? I guess. Of course. <laughs> maybe. Because maybe. The, maybe the first love is different with other loves. And I don't know. Okay, good. It's just an opinion. Teacher, no. yes. I have a question. <laughs> Is that correct? Say, um, have you ever been falling in love? No, have you ever fallen or have you ever been? Have you ever been? No, it's 
pick Y. You can, no, you can, can say, you can say on, only one. Ah, uh, okay. Hey, have you ever I'm... been in love or have you ever fallen in love? But no, have you ever been falling? Not the two okay. together, okay? Separate, Not yes. Together. Uh -huh. Okay, and when I say in a, in a place, is that correct? Have you ever been in New York? Yes. That's correct. Yes. yes. Have you ever been okay. in New only, York? Have you ever been in San Miguel? Yes. Only places. Um, let me see. Yes, only places. Okay. Yes. Have you ever been in San Salvador in my house? Have you ever been in... Yeah, in that case, you know, of a feeling, right? Yes. Uh, have you ever been... Uh, huh? Have you ever been... Uh, for example, teacher, have you ever been sick? Have you ever been sick? Uh -huh. oh, have you, wow. Yes. Have you ever been uh -huh. sick? Yes. Have you ever been sick? Okay. Uh -huh. Have you ever been fat? Because okay. remember that B is ser o estar. Okay. Mm -hmm. So then uh, depends. If it is a uh, if case, it is when a star, I... like when you're talking about place, it's going to be like a star, right? Yeah, have you ever been in San Miguel? In this place, as we are talking about feelings. Mm -hmm. um, well, have, you ever been, have you ever been angry? Have you ever felt angry? Have you ever, mm -hmm. Yes. Have you ever been angry at your mother? <laughs> okay. Okay, that's a, a no, never. Oh, maybe. But. <laughs> have, you ever, have you ever been worrying for politics? Have you ever been? With the politics. Have you ever been a... Uh, in a political party, never, angry. have you ever been angry? angry? Uh, angry a politics. Uh, have you ever angry. Been angry <laughs> with a uh, politician? And, and, um, and talking about politics. the original question, speech teacher, um, how uh, do you say how you ever falling in love, or how do you say I, I don't remember? Have you ever fallen? How you ever falling? Okay. Mm -hmm. Have you ever fallen in Is that love? Correct say. Mm -hmm. Yes. The correct. Say. Okay. Uh -huh. Thank so you. If you ever falling, remember that is a. Uh, if you have ever, uh, uh, let's say, uh, been in that situation, actually, have you ever been in that situation that you feel that you love someone? Okay. okay. Then have you ever fallen in love? Is if you have ever been in a situation that you feel that you cannot live without a special person in your life. Okay, okay. So that, uh, that's it. That's a different way to use it. Okay, that's what it says fall, uh, fall in love and stay in love. Right? Ah, okay. The process, yeah. the process, and when you are already perdido, right? Stay. <laughs> okay, you stay what's, the different be what's the difference between uh, because I, I wrote, I um, write, no, I read uh -huh. the the um, the paragraph when say um, the difference between yeah that's right that that's paragraph uh, mm -hmm. between crush and between falling in love mm -hmm. remember here say yes this happened before it was just a crush how can you tell if it's a real time here's yeah. what our this is usually this usually happens you know uh, with uh, teenagers right when when you have a, a, a daughter or a son that they are probably 17, 18 years old and, they, and then your son comes to your house or your daughter and tells you that I want to get married and say what? I love this girl or I love this boy and it's only a feeling of the moment, right? It's just what we said, a crush, right? It's something that after that he or she will discover that it was only a, a feeling, right? It was not real love. Okay, you know, because okay. real love actually is when you when you feel that that person, like I just said, I, I just said, you know, is the is the other half. Okay? okay, when we find that half is when we say, okay, yes, now I want to get married. But you know, there is okay. a moment that we decide. Okay, so then that's that's what it says here. You know, the crash and. And here, and in this one, it explains the, the process, right? If you're falling in love, you'll find yourself uh, talking uh, to or, or telephoning the person for no reason. You'll find yourself bringing this person into every conversation. 
uh, you might suddenly be interested in things you you choose to avoid. For example, suppose that you didn't like uh, reggaeton, for example, but the girl you like, she loves reggaeton. And then now you were not interested in reggaeton, but now you are because that person likes reggaeton, right? So, but this is, you know, the process, right? No, change the, change the person if you like reggaeton. Uh-huh, exactly, right? And then they say, okay, you're falling, and they say, okay, so you're falling in love. But falling in love is one thing, and staying in love is another. How can you tell as time passes you are still in love? If you stay in love, your relationship will change. You might not talk as much about the person you are in love with. You might not, uh, you might not call him or her so often. But this person will nevertheless become more and more important in your life. You'll find that you can be yourself with this person. When you first fell in love, you were probably afraid to admit certain things. No, that this is because at the beginning, when you are getting to know a, a person, uh, sometimes we are not very honest because we are afraid that this person will reject us, mm -hmm. right? But when you discover that that person understands and she or he doesn't care about those things, that she loves you because, or she likes you because the way you are, then you begin to feel uh, probably not afraid, no fear, okay? So then, then is when you are in, then you say stay in love. Okay, when you are already in a, like in a very established relationship. Uh -huh. Relationship. Okay, a more established relationship. Before that, it's only crushes, right? A crush that when you are <laughs> beginning to know a person. Okay, so that's the difference. Okay, questions now? So, you know, this is sometimes uh, the idea here is to practice vocabulary because what you practice here is uh, it's a feeling, right? It's just express feelings, and the, the objective here is to find the, the correct way to do it. Okay, now let's see. Well, we read the, some of the comments. Now let's see the next one. I think the next one is the unit, the section 15, section five. Yes, that's the one. Okay, so then in that one, we finished with the uh, uh, conditionals, remember? Right? What was the con uh, sentence with the, if uh, is present and future, right? That we have the, the, the situation in present and the result in the future, right? For example, if the, if the let's say the assembly does not approve the new decree, so the quarantine will be over tomorrow, right? And then on Wednesday, everybody free in the street. Okay, so then that is something that then you have a consequence of yes. one situation in the present. Okay, so we have to wait to see what happens. All right, then uh, let's see this one. And uh, Yesenia, can you please read this uh, okay. lesson objective here? Okay, uh, lesson objective. In this class, you will listen to a conversation about jobs and job requirements where gerunds and short responses will, will be used. Will be used. Okay, here, uh, what we're going to do is you will see some, uh, sent, uh, some phrases and expressions that are followed by verbs in ING form. Okay, you already have an idea about this. Okay, but you will see some other expressions here. Okay, first you're going to listen to a conversation. Please, one other language. 
We probably should have included that in the ad. I'm sorry. Hi, thank you for joining us again. Ready to listen to the conversation? This time, you will listen to job and job requirements, as well as gerunds and short responses. Remember to always practice the conversations with a friend. I need a job. Part A. Listen and practice. I'm so broke. I really need to find a job. So do I. Do you see anything good listed on the internet? How about this? A door-to-door -door salesperson to sell baby products. Like diapers and things? No thanks. And anyway, I'm not good at selling. Well, I am. I might check that one out. Oh, here's one for you. An assistant entertainment director on a cruise ship. That sounds like fun. I like traveling, and I've never been on a cruise ship. It says here you have to work every day while the ship is at sea. That's okay. I don't mind working long hours, but the pay is good. What's the phone number? It's 555-3455. Part B, listen to Brad call about the job. What else does the job require? Holiday Cruise Lines. Hello, I'm calling about the assistant entertainment director job that's advertised online. Is it still available? Yes, it is. But there's just one thing we didn't mention in the advertisement. Do you speak any other languages? No, not really. Oh, we're really looking for someone who can speak at least one other language. We probably should have included that in the ad. I'm sorry. Hi, thank you for joining us again. Ready to listen to the conversation? This time you will listen to job and job requirements, as well as gerunds and short responses. Remember to always practice the conversations with a friend. I need a job. Part A, listen and practice. I'm so broke. I really need to find a job. So do I. Do you see anything good listed on the internet? How about this? A door-to-door -door salesperson to sell baby products. Like diapers and things? No thanks. And anyway, I'm not good at selling. Well, I am. I might check that one out. Oh, here's one for you an assistant entertainment director on a cruise ship. That sounds like fun. I like traveling, and I've never been on a cruise ship. It says here you have to work every day while the ship is at sea. That's okay. I don't mind working long hours, but the pay is good. What's the phone number? It's 555-3455. Part B. Listen to Brad. Director on a cruise ship. Okay, good. Now, uh, let me see. Okay, Eduardo, can you can you see the the reading and read the part of Dan, please? And Josue, can you read the part of Brad? I can see very well the. And okay, who can see it? I send it to your WhatsApp group. I I can see it, teacher. Okay, so then you read the part of Brad. Anybody else who have a better image? Ah, uh, yeah. Let me see. Oh, I don't know. Probably Veronica? More or less. Yes. Yes? Okay. Yes. Okay, so Veronica, you read the part of Dan. Uh, Jose, you read the part of Brad. Okay. Okay, go ahead. Okay. okay, the rest, please pay attention and identify where you see words in ING. At the end of the, of the conversation, we are going to analyze that. Okay? Go ahead. Okay. I'm so broke. I really need to find a job. So do I. Do you see anything good listen on the internet? How about this? A door-to-door salesperson to sell baby products. Like diaper like, and di diapers? Diaper and things. No, thanks. And anyway, I'm an, I am not good at selling. 
Well, I am. I might take that one out. Oh, here's one for you. An assistant entertainment director on a cruise cruise ship. Cruise ship. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. ship. That sounds like fun. I like traveling and I I've never been on a cruise ship. It says here you have to work every day while the ship is on the, at the sea. That's okay. I don't mind working long hours if you, the pay is good. That's the phone number. It's five 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 three four five five. Excellent. Okay, very good. Thank you very much, guys. Okay, now where did you see the words you know that have ing forms? Selling. And before selling? Uh, good at selling. Okay. For example, this is one expression all the time, right? When you say, for example, uh, a, are you good? Are you good at, let's say, uh, cooking? You say, no, I am not good at cooking. No for cooking. Okay. Usually there is a tendency that people say in the thinking in Spanish, say, I am not good for cooking, like para cocinar, right? But the expression is good at. What good at, are you good at? good at? Good at. Okay. Now, there are two forms. Okay. There are two forms that we can use this. A verb after or a noun. Okay. I can say I am good at playing soccer. Okay. Action. Correct. I am good at playing soccer. And the other one is I am good at soccer. Okay, so two forms. In one, in one of them, I use the noun, and the other one, I use the action and the noun. I am good at playing basketball. Okay, I am good at cooking. I am good at speaking languages. I am good at teaching. I am good at learning. I am good at jogging at running, okay? Always ING forms, okay? Uh, well, uh, for, for the question, teacher, uh, it's correct to say, are you good at cooking or are yes. you good at playing? Yes. It, it, it's the same, right? It's the same, correct. Okay. All right. Now, what is another uh, another uh, structure that you found with ING form in the conversation? I like traveling. I like traveling. Like, if you see, for example, after like, you will see the verb in ID, right? ING. I like playing. I like uh, eating. And, and it's not that you will say, me gusta comiendo, right? Mm -hmm. All right? It says, I like playing means, me gusta jugar. Okay? I like, uh, I like watching movies with my family. Me gusta ver, right? No me gusta viendo, right? So then these are things that we need to have clear, right? We know that when we use, for example, the verb to be, that's different. Because then we say, mm. I am watching. Playing, uh -huh, I am watching a movie. Mm -hmm. viendo. I like watching movies is well, more general. Okay? What is something yes. that you like? What is something that you like? I like a sleep. I like a sleeping. I like sleeping. Yes. Yesenia, I like right? going yes. It must be Yesenia. <laughs> I, I cannot see it right now. <laughs> yeah. Okay, in the screen, but I, 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 I know the, I know the accent. I, I, I like? I like to drink coffee. I like drinking coffee. Okay. In the I like drinking practice. coffee. I like, I like doing, going at movies too. I love, I like going to the movies. Going okay? to the movies. Okay. Good. Okay, it's, so teacher. It's not, teacher. Correct. Uh -huh. it's not correct at movies. I, I like, like going. going at movies. Or, no, to, or because to going to. Okay. Okay, for example, when you are in, when somebody, where are you? At the movies. Movies. Right. Okay, where are you going? To the movies. To the movies, okay. 
Okay, I'm going to then stay at. Okay. Okay. For example, in this moment, where are you? At home. At home. Not to home. Not to home, right? Yeah. Okay. After this class, I'm going to my house. Okay. No, I am in my house. Okay. You got it. Okay. What is another another structure that you saw? Teacher, yes? for for example, teacher, when you say, I like exercise. What do you say with ing? Exercising. Exercising. I like exercising. Okay. Okay, or it's not, it's not correct. I like to uh, making exercise or do no, doing, exercise. doing, 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 like exercise. doing exercise. Yes, doing exercise. Yes. Always um, we have we have to okay. use remember ING after uh, using G after the like. Yeah. Uh, okay. This one, look, look, this is just the introduction, guys, to a to a very uh, big topic. Okay. Okay, uh, I will recommend you to use these structures in this moment because after that uh, you will find that there are many, many different ways to use. There is a list of verbs, okay? Um, I think I have one. I will send it to you just for extra information, but I have to look for it. I'll, 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 send it, I'll, I'll bring it tomorrow to the class, okay? Uh, because there is a list in which you can see what verbs are followed by ing form, okay, like in this case, like, there are other verbs that are followed by to infinitive, okay? For example, I want to go, I want to play. In that case, you don't say, I want going or I want playing, okay? So if you see, there are different verb, Structure. verb patterns, okay, verb patterns, like patrones, the verb, right? Now, how they use it in English. And there is there is another verb that you can use the to, okay, ing, or you can use infinitive. Okay. Uh -huh. okay. So the, I mean, it, uh -huh, it's a big it's a big uh, it's a big mix of ideas. Okay. So that's why in this case I recommend you to use this one, so that you can begin to to know this kind of verb. And I will give you that list for you to have it. You know, but. Uh, and you can little by little study it by yourself and learn more about uh, these verbs, right? Because it's a very extensive, very extensive topic. You will see it. Okay? Good. Okay. But, uh, but yes, there, there, there are a lot of, uh, in this moment, yes, you're going to use like, for example, but you can also say, I like to study. Okay, the like, for example, is one of those verbs that you can use with a to or ing. Okay? But in this moment, to practice, we're going to use it only with ing form. All right. Oh, okay. 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 But uh, but it's good that I mean I like when you ask me those questions because you know English is I mean it's very let's say extensive in some topics and sometimes in this program because of the time so they only they only they, we only have a like interruption to some things right but it's good when you when you have this uh, curiosity. Okay, good. Well, what else? Another one, another structure. I saw another one. I don't, I don't mind, mind, I don't working, mind working, working hours. Oh, this is their one. I don't mind working long hours. Long hours. Long hours. Something that, you know, is not really something bad for you, right? Something that you accept. Okay, I don't mind uh, working long hours. I don't mind staying up late. Uh, you know, if I have to work or if I have to study, okay. I don't mind. Uh, what else? I don't. I don't mind uh, driving. Driving, I'm yes. I don't. Alone. I don't. <laughs> yes. I don't <laughs> mind eating tortillas with beans and cheese only. It is the oh, same oh, thing. Oh, 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 I don't <laughs> mind. It's like a, I don't care. Yes, the only thing that sometimes, uh, Veronica, uh, I don't care, might sound a little bit uh, rude, right? Okay. But it's similar, yeah. right? I but don't the meaning is, is similar. Yeah, similar, yes, it's similar. Right? It's the same to say, never mind. Never mind. Mm, or no, yeah, different. But, but, not, but not in this sense, but not in a sense, hey, for example, I never mind working. So in that case, let's say, for example, hey, uh, uh, I, I forgot to bring your 
your book. Uh, I left it on, in, in, in my house. Oh, never mind. Mm -hmm. Like, don't worry, right? Never mind. Like, don't worry. Okay, bring it tomorrow. Bring it some other day. Mm -hmm. Okay, that would be like, never mind. Okay, it's, it's fine. Okay. But in this, and I don't mind, it's something the same, right? Like, yeah, I don't really care that much about working long hours if I have to, if I have to do it. Okay? Questions? Now, let's see. Now, let's listen to the other that part. sounds like fun. I like traveling, and I've never been on a cruise ship. It says here, you have to work every day while the ship is at sea. That's okay. I don't mind working long hours if it pays me. What's the phone number? It's 555-3455. Art B. Listen to Brad call about the job. What else does the job require? Holiday Cruise Line. Hello? I'm calling about the assistant entertainment director job that's at Okay, what does the guy, the guy say in that uh, beginning? I call, I call you into calling. the... Uh -huh. He says, I'm calling, okay? I'm assistant calling. entertainment director job that's advertised online? Holiday Cruise Line. Hello? I'm calling about the assistant entertainment... Okay, but in this, in this case, it's different, right? Because you say, I'm... I'm... I'm I am, I am I'm calling. calling. Okay, in this case, is a gerund, progressive. Mm -hmm. Okay, it's the verb to be an ing. Okay, I am calling. Okay, this one is not related to this topic. It's because the 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 action is right now. Exactly, that's correct. Ah, okay. Entertainment director job that's advertised online. Is it still available? Yes, it is. But there's just one thing we didn't mention in the advertisement. Do you speak any other languages? No, not really. Oh, we're really looking for something. <laughs> okay, this is another one, right? We're really looking, looking. for. Looking okay, for this is also one. another one with the verb to be. We looking. are really looking for. Okay, it's not related to the topic. This is present progressive. This is what they are looking for in this moment. Looking for. Uh huh. We're really looking for someone who can speak at least one other language. We probably should have included that in the ad. I'm sorry. Okay. Sure. So if you see in the second part of the conversation, there were not, uh, let's say, uh, a verbs related to the first topic, only the gerund. Hi, thank you. But in that one, you can see the difference between the verb, the present progressive, okay, and the verbs that are followed by the actions or expression followed by ing forms. Okay, good. It's, cor it's correct to say, hey, George, you should apply in the, this job. You should apply. Applying. No, appl applying. Because should apply. Remember ah, that okay. it should is a modal, modal verb. Mm. Okay, should is like, for example, like, uh, should. No use ing in, uh -huh. in applying. After those verbs we use base forms mm -hmm. you should go you should stay you should apply uh -huh. you should listen okay mm -hmm. you should practice never with uh ing mm -hmm. and i say you applying no you no, are because, applying uh -huh, that, yes if you say for example usually we use the ing form after another verb Okay, for example, uh, you, uh, you like applying, for example. You like, uh, you like applying to, to new jobs. There is, here's a list, okay? You enjoy applying, right? But after the, after the first verb, or when we are talking about the present progressive. The present progressive is when you say uh, you are applying. For example, yeah. say, George, I know that you are applying to La Constancia, okay? I know you are applying to uh, another job, okay? So you are, you are, but this is an action that the person is doing in this moment. Okay, teacher, I have a question. Uh -huh. And it will be correct to say, uh, you should go for applying. You should go 
for applying. Apply. No, and apply. And, and apply. And apply. So, and apply. Uh -huh. Okay. Yes. I have a question. What is applying? Apply is when you ask for a job. Applying. Apply. Uh -huh. Apply. How do you spell how a right? A. Ah, yeah. Aplicar. Mm -hmm. okay. Aplicar al trabajo, a la plaza. Ok. Apply. Is apply. 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 Yes. Mm -hmm. Ok. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Ok, then in this case, for example, you say you, you are applying. Ok. okay. So, but this okay. is at this moment. Ok. okay. Uh, the other one is you should apply. Apply. Mm -hmm. This is a suggestion, a re uh, kind of recommendation. It's advice. An advice. Uh -huh, yes. It's, it's advice. It's an advice. Okay, you should it's apply. Advice. Uh -huh. Another uh, model auxiliary is you must apply. You must. Uh huh. To yeah. Okay, uh, another, uh, may, no, another, uh, another, you should uh, apply. You better, is another one, you better apply. Or, you won't get a job. Okay, another one. And pay, and you pay may, me. Yes, you may, <laughs> you may apply. <laughs> Okay, anytime you want. Anytime you want. Okay, so these are, but if you see after this one, you are applying, this is different, okay? Uh, there one is, for example, I enjoy, oh, I like, I mean, the one that we have, I like applying to different, Jobs. Jobs. Okay. So in this case, you see the. I like applying to different jobs. Now here we have the, this is the, what we what we are studying. Okay. The other ones are just normal forms, right? This is a progressive. Mm -hmm. This is a progressive tense in present. I am working, I am eating, I am teaching, I am sleeping, okay? The action in the moment. These are modal auxiliaries. You say the modal and the verb in base form. You should apply, you must apply, you must go, you must stay. And here we have the gerund after the verb. Now, if you see this one, is gerund. Okay, gerund is the ing form. Okay, this is the gerund. Okay, and this is progressive. When you have the verb to be, and the gerund the action uh -huh, the action okay teacher okay yes what is the difference between applying a uh, applicate i am applicate applicate yeah the applicate i think is for something that you are this is to apply for a job and applicate is when you are learning something, uh, for example, and then you have to apply it. But uh, you, uh -huh. but you apply it your, your you, grammar right rules. Uh -huh, the, like the knowledge. Uh -huh. mm. knowledge. And the medicine, is that correct, say applicate? Medicine, in what sense? Okay, for instance, for instance, I applied this cream in my yeah. leg. Maybe no, it's it apply. Apply. Uh, okay. Apply. Apply, okay. or you can sometimes even use um, 
Uh, well, if you just do it like this, it's rub. Yeah. Rub. Rub is like, a, how do you call this? Big buck of rub. What is the, like, for a cut? Marijuana. Okay. <laughs> yes. Uh -huh. <laughs> okay. What else? Another one? No? no? Okay, good. Then, any other sentence that you want to... Well, let me see if we have... Another example here is... Uh, Laura, can you please read this lesson objective here? By the end of this class, you will learn how to make statements with with germs and giving short response. Okay, this is the, the example here. Okay, listen to these examples. Ready to know about germs and short responses? Follow us in the audio program and stay with us for more explanation. Germs, short responses. Affirmative statements with germs. I like traveling. Agree. So do I. Disagree. Oh, I don't. I hate working on weekends. So do I. Really? I like it. I'm good at using a computer. So am I. Gee, I'm not. Negative statements with gerunds. I don't mind working long hours. Agree. Neither do I. Disagree. Well, I do. I'm not good at selling. Neither am I. I am. I can't stand making mistakes. Neither can I. Oh, I don't mind. Other verbs or phrases followed by gerunds. Love. Enjoy. Be interested. Let's talk about here. Remember, a gerund is a verb plus ing. Today we will make reference to verbs or phrases that are followed by a gerund. Like, hate, good at, as well as, don't mind, not good at, can't stand. So feel free to say, I like eating pizza. She hates cooking. They're good at writing poetry. Or, I don't mind listening to people's problems. He's not good at playing sports. You can't stand cheating on a test. If you notice, you may change the subject. Just make sure you conjugate the verb properly. Before we go, we want you to look into the chart. Notice we have all the verbs or phrases followed by gerund. Love, enjoy, be interested in. The way to use these verbs and phrases is the same as we did on the previous example. Short responses with so and neither are ways of agreeing. For example, we use so to agree with a positive statement. I need to find a job. But why? Neither to agree with a negative statement. I don't like working long hours. Neither do I. Did you realize that with both so and neither, we use the verb from the original statement? Also, keep in mind we place the subject or noun or pronoun after the verb. Hello, did you notice when we have an affirmative statement, we agree by using so plus auxiliary plus subject. And when we have a negative statement, we agree by saying neither plus auxiliary plus subject. For example, if I say to you, I like reading books, you may answer by saying, so do I. Or if I say to you, I don't mind talking to him, you may do by saying, neither do I. As said in the explanation, there are some verbs that are always followed by gerunds. We will share them with you so you may practice. Okay, this is what I was telling you about, right? For example, this is a... Uh, oops, sorry. Before we go, we want you to agree on the following statements. Okay, these are some of the verbs 
okay, that are followed by gerunds. Okay, for example, look at the first one. Tell me a sentence using the first one. I was at meeting or a course, maybe. Okay, remember that you have admit, okay? Yeah. Admit, and after admit, you have to use a verb in ING. Yeah, I was at a meeting for a course. Mm. Uh, maybe you admit advice advertising. I, I admit. Uh, an advertising. Uh huh. More or less, okay, you have an idea, okay? Suppose that I said, hey, in the house, in the refrigerator, there was a chocolate, okay, a sneaker, and then I admit my mistake. When you when you go to the to look for the chocolate, the chocolate is not there. Okay, and then you ask in the house, who ate yeah. my yeah. chocolate? <laughs> and then Gio is very you no know, very honest, and then Gio says, okay. I admit eating your eating. chocolate. I admit eating. I'm sorry. Okay, Gio, no problem. Just because you're honest, I will say nothing this time. Okay, say I admit eating admit chocolate. Eating. Okay, when you admit doing something, this is when we accept, right, the, mm -hmm. the responsibility, okay, when you admit. For example, I admit making the mistake. Okay, I admit a bullying my best friend Ronnie. Okay, <laughs> I admit that, okay. A public yeah. Yeah. in front of everybody. Yeah, for example. Uh -huh. For example. No, it's true, it's true, it's true. <laughs> yes, uh -huh. I am, I'm admitting my problems. Okay, that's, a, that's, a, that's correct, but no with a gerund. Because you say, I am admitting, okay, it's, for example, you are accepting, it's okay. I am, I am admitting my problem. But for example, you say, I admit having problems. So in that case, I accept that I have problems. So you see, it's a different way to say, I accept that I have problems, okay? I admit having, for example, suppose uh, I said, okay, I admit having a, drugs problem okay so i admit that i have problems with drugs but if you see in the other sentence sounds shorter right okay but then this is the way that we use it okay so then we have advice we have appreciate avoid this is the the list that i was telling you but i will get you on a, a list with uh with these verbs that are followed by gerund and with an example next to it. So that after that you can create your own, uh, your own sentences. Uh, hopefully I will be able to, to find it in the morning so I can send it to you early and then you can check the WhatsApp. I wanna send it to the WhatsApp group so that you can see that PDF and have some ideas for, the, uh, for tomorrow's class to use those verbs, right? Okay, for example, you have deny. Uh, for example, what is deny? Okay, this is the opposite of admit. Okay, I deny eating that chocolate. So I don't accept, okay? I don't accept that I ate the chocolate. I deny uh, say, uh, saying those words in front of my friends. Okay, so this is when we do not have meat. All right. Okay. Let me see. Before we go, we want you to agree on the following statements. I love hiking. I'm not good at swimming. As always, respond on our discussion box. Following statements. I I love hiking. Okay, so this one is I love hiking. Who else loves hiking? 
then you can say so so do i so do i remember that uh, when we studied that before right neither do so i how do you say for example neither do i so am i when it's affirmative we use so, so do i yeah. because this is i love hiking okay or i love hiking but i don't okay uh, it will be the same uh, if I answer saying, um, okay, and this so is, sorry, that swimming as always is fun. On a sorry, wait, 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 of hiking. I'm not good at swimming, okay. I'm not good at swimming, then so am I. Yes, uh, who was speaking, Diego? So am I, so am I will be in, in this case, right? Neither, neither do I. Which one, eh, Diego? The first ah. one or the second one? For the first one. Uh, uh -huh. So do I. It, it will be correct to say uh, uh, so. So am I. So am I. Right? No, in this no. one, no, because if you see here, yes, because you have in the second one we have the verb to be. I am. You 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 okay. do. Uh -huh. so do I. In this one, we use depending on the verb. Because okay. this verb can be in past tense, okay? okay. For example, uh, when I was uh, 20 years old, I loved hiking. And then somebody else here can say, ah, so did I, okay? Okay, okay. because this is in the past. Uh, for, uh, if somebody, for example, suppose that another person is 40 years old and I am 50 years old and then with the night tell this person I loved hiking when I was uh, 15 years old and they say hey so did I so, yeah. but this is in the past okay so depending on this there if it is in present past future present perfect if it is in present if it is in present perfect it will say I have loved hiking the answer will be I have. So, so do I. So I have. So, so have I. So have I. I have loved hiking. So have I. Okay. Okay. So depends on the tense. Okay. I guess tomorrow we're gonna write some sentences practicing okay. with different tenses. Okay. But you already have an idea because this is, you know, probably you understand at this moment, but the rest is practice, right? It's uh, how to use it, and if it is impressive, if it, and in future. For example, I will love, okay, hiking. Tomorrow I, is my first day, I'm going to go hiking. And I am very excited, okay? I think I will love hiking. And then the other person says? So will I. Hey, so will I, you know, I'm very excited too. So <laughs> that's what I'm telling you, depends, right? We're talking about the future, okay, the present, the past, okay? Okay. Got it. Yeah. Okay. People. Okay. Okay. Go to rest. Sleep. Dream in English. <laughs> okay. Uh, that's the homework. Thank you. Okay. And I will see you Hi. tomorrow. Hi. Okay. Tomorrow. Okay. 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 See you tomorrow. tomorrow. Bye bye. Okay. Bye. 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 Bye bye. Bye bye, guys.